Okay, this is the Game is on 100 here with a video, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about the Chicago Bears' first day of free agency. Uh, let's get started. The Chicago Bears signed uh, five players uh, today. Um, not really big money market guys that was being reported by the NFL players getting 80 90 million dollar deals but the Bears stayed the course Ryan Pace said he wasn't going to overspend in free agency to improve the Bears and Ryan Pace did exactly what he said he was going to do and it came out today that the Chicago Bears I reported it yesterday that Denny Trevathan was going to go to the Bears, and it was true. He signed with the Bears today. He signed a, a four. It's a four-year deal. Um, it's uh, short of a uh, twenty-eight million range. The total value is twenty-four point five million with twelve million guaranteed money and five million signing bonus. So the Bears got him in the shorter range of twenty-eight million. That's a good deal. For uh, Danny Trevathan, he's basically going to get uh, basically seven mil a year. That's over the average of four years. Um, good signing by Ryan Pace. He is going to desperately improve the linebacker position in the inside that the Bears desperately needed. Uh, the Nets signing they did. The Bears agreed to terms with offensive tackle Massey for a three. It's a three-year deal. Um, apparently this move right here is going to, uh, bolster up the Bears offensive line. And apparently Kyle Long is, uh, going to be playing back to right guard and they're going to have, uh, Bobby Massey be at right tackle. Um, we'll see what this does, but he's a solid player. He, he played a couple of years. He came from Arizona um, he played a couple of playoffs years with with the Cardinals. So that's an all right move by Ryan Pace to get that guy. I'm okay with it. Uh, the three other players, the Bears signed, they resigned their own cornerback, Tracy Porter, to a three-year uh, 16.5 mil deal. They also resigned... Jockeys Rogers and Nick Betton to one-year deals as well. So I would say a good day for the Bears on opening day of free agency. They filled a need on the defense. They filled uh, a need on the offensive side of the ball. They resigned Tracy Porter again. Um, there's a few other players that are still out there that the Bears can sign. Um, it's being reported that the Bears are going to try to have a visit tomorrow with uh, Akeem Hits tomorrow. Akeem Hits hasn't signed anywhere yet. He's going to be going around and see what he can get. So maybe he might come to the Bears with these moves, what the Bears did today. Uh, they got probably a lot more money and salary cap to get another big name guy. I want to be surprised if they do. But today, the Bears did a good job in signing, getting Danny Trevathan, and getting offensive tackle Massey. I am impressed with Ryan Pace. He stayed the course. He wasn't going to overspend for players. He hasn't done that. And I like the move that what he did. He said he was going to stay the course, that he's not going to be exploding the throwing out money in free agency. That's not how you do things. You you get the players that need to fill in while you rebuild your while you build your team through the draft. Well with this with the guys that Danny with Danny Trevathan, he's only twenty five years old. He's going to be twenty six later on in the month. Offensive tackle Massey is another twenty five year old player. Pernell McPhee last year was a twenty five year old uh, player coming in. So Ryan Pace is acquiring the free agents in the mid twenties. That's what you need to do how you can win in the NFL if you do that uh, philosophy. So I'm okay with what Ryan Pace did, but a great day for the Bears today. Uh, this is the Game is on 100. I am out. Later.